What's up, guys? Rob Ninja Boys Gaming here, bringing you a very special video today. Well, not too special. It's just <clears throat> a um a Valentine's special, I guess you can say. And um, to celebrate the day, we're gonna play Don't Die, Dateless Dummy, which is um a uh, an arcade game that I saw and um. I figured, you know what, this is the first time on the channel that I wanted to do something um, for the holiday, just, you know, just for fun. So, we went with it, and, um, is there a space I can put in? No? No spaces? Oh, that's disappointing. Um, but, we're gonna be John Kerry for this playthrough, <laughs> and <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm being John Kerry, um, it's because... I didn't know what to put as my name. I didn't want to use my own name. Um, oh, we can do caps? Alright, cool. Um, I didn't want to put my own name. And I was like, hmm, you know, what's a name that I could use? And um, I just typed in J on, oh, whoops, on Google. Or on Facebook, and the name John came up, and then I typed in John on Google, and my most recently searched thing for John was John Kerry. So in honor of that, we're going to be John Kerry, uh, Secretary of State, I think he is. So, here we go. We're going to start this, and then uh, I don't have a John Kerry voice, unfortunately. I should just Photoshop John Kerry into random points. Um, well, shit. Another summer wasted without doing anything worthwhile. How did I turn out to be such a loser? How did I graduate high school without having a single girlfriend? Wow, way to go, champ. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It's all good. Ellipses. Oh, right. I spent my entire fucking adolescence sitting in on a computer, playing MMORPGs, surfing the web all day. College classes start tomorrow, so I'd better get my shit together or I'll wind up a 30-year-old, kissless, hand-holdless virgin. Wow, this guy's like... <laughs> this guy's like super depressed about this. Holy crap. And you know what they say, if you keep your virginity until the day you turn 30 years old, you become a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry! So do I want to be go around mercilessly scorching my unsuspecting foes with giant barrages of fireballs or blue balls? Or do I want to improve myself, be confident, and get with a nice girl? I think the latter is probably, you know, screw magic. There you go, buddy. Play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> I want a girlfriend. What should I do before bed? Um... If I was John Kerry, what would I do? Well, I'd probably go to the bathroom and uh, write a speech. You're on your way to drop the kids off at the pool when you notice your sexy self in the mirror and start flexing. Not satisfied with what you see, you drop down and do 20 push-ups. Ah, that's better, yeah. Everybody knows if you do 20 push-ups, you automatically get a six-pack. It's a rule. Not, um, ah, that's better. You become motivated to start hitting the gym. Earned one strength. I guess we have... um categories. I don't know if there's a way to check it. I don't think there is a way to check it. So I'm hitting a um, bunch of different buttons. So Tomorrow will be my first day as a new man. I'm tired of being a loser. Tired of wasting my time in front of the computer playing games, watching my Chinese cartoons, Chinese cartoons, and idiotically trying to be an indie game developer. Now, I think there's another game by the same guy who's called, I man, I hate that indie game. So maybe that's where that's coming from. Back when I was a kid, everything was so happy, but now everything is so sad. Dude, it's just a girl. Um, not to say that having a girlfriend is a bad thing, I mean, it's a really fun thing to have, but I mean, you don't have to be depressed about it. But then again, I guess if you never had a girlfriend and he's almost in, and he's in college, I mean, maybe he's just depressed about it. Time to do something different, something moping around and expecting things to get better. See, motivation! Man, all this work just gets chicks. Now that I think about it, don't girls have to bit, have it a bit too easy? I mean, in order for a man to be desirable by women, he has to be fit, rich, be confident, be funny, be outgoing, have ambitions, have friends, and have interesting hobbies. Man, you're John Kerry. You have the crimson chin. Like, <laughs> John Kerry's chin is like trigonomic. What does a woman have to be, have to do to be desirable by men? Not be fat. Okay, that's a little ridiculous. Um... If you're a female shut-in, people reach out to you and you're thought of as cute and shy, but if you're a male shut-in, you're basically fucked. Well, I'm, once again, I do disagree with that whole, oh, you just not have to be fat. That's, that's probably not true. Um, having a good personality goes a long way. Um, argh, he's a pirate. Argh, matey. 
I need to stop thinking like this or I'll end up on a bitter neckbeard posting misogynistic rant on internet message boards all day. The Fedora Gentleman, welcome to his origins. It's time to stop making excuses, get out of my comfort zone, and make the world mine! Now time for some shut-eye. God damn, he's finally going to sleep. You wake up from that damn reoccurring nightmare of a bear chasing you and realize it's time to get ready for class. You head to the kitchen to get some breakfast. Whoops. Just hold me with blueberries? Pfft, eggs, bacon, and ham, man. You kidding me? You have a nice... Meaty breakfast, rich in protein. Hey, where are the pancakes? Earned one strength. Damn, John Kerry's getting ripped. You arrive at your college campus and head towards the building where you, the, your first class is being held. On the way, you notice a girl pursuing a map of the campus with a puzzled look on her face. Damn, she's cute. Looks like she will... She's still trying to figure out where her class is. Should I go and help her? Or will I seem like a creeper? Helpful hint. If somebody's trying to help you find something or trying to be a helpful person, please don't call them a creeper, because then they never help anyone ever again. They're just trying to be nice people. Unless she's, like, getting all up in your comfort zone. Or her, for that matter. Why should I help her when this other dude right next to me is scratching his head, looking at the map with an even more confused expression? She'll just trying to think I'm getting... She's just trying... Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, there's so much reading. She'll just think I'm trying to get in her pants. Wait a minute, isn't that exactly what I'm trying to do? I thought you wanted a girlfriend, dude, not... A prostitute? You can have a prostitute on the streets. It's easy. I wouldn't know. You decide to talk to her. Actually, I don't know where this game takes place, so maybe prostitution is legal where this game takes place. John Kerry. Ha! What building are you looking for? That's more of a Bill Clinton. I'm... <sighs> the Humanities Hall! Oh, God, I can't do that voice the whole time. <laughs> that is not happening. Do I know where it is? Uh, no. I don't. Oh, no. I'll help you out, though. I might need to know where it is someday as well. Yeah, she is kind of cute. She's got the red hair going on, the floral dress. You know, you spot the humanities hall on the map, and she thanks you again for your help with a smile. The two of you part ways, and you run off to your class. Booking it! Dropping bombs of knowledge. Like in Vietnam. Um, You get to class and look for a place to sit down. Damn, that girl looks cute. Is this all this guy is just going to say the whole time? Should I sit next to her? Shit, stop thinking and just do it. Nike, the old the old me would have taken a seat tucked away in the back, but now's the time to take every opportunity as they come. Let's do this! Channeling his inner Captain Price. You take a seat next to the girl. That was the easy part. I'm pretty sure that was really easy. What are my next moves? There's a couple minutes left before class starts, but should I talk to her now? But what the heck am I supposed to talk about? Do I introduce myself, or would that seem weird? No, that's not really weird, dude. Do I casually ask some bullshit question to break the ice? What if I say the wrong thing? Just turn to her and say, Hi, my name is John Carey. I'm going to be in your class. What's your name? It seems like... Yeah, I think it's... Man, why do the guys all have to initiate everything? Damn, gender roles. Yeah, well, apparently. Well, I guess I can sit here complaining and getting nowhere. I can just do with it. Man up. He man. You turn towards her and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm John Carey. Dude, I can't do two female voices. There's no way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leo. Nice to meet you. Ugh, that's gonna kill my voice. They had the same voice. I don't know. Maybe the same voice actor. Have you read anything about this class? Is the professor hard? Oh, not really. Nobody I know has taken it. Kill me. Hopefully it's not too bad. Glad I got here in time, though. The campus map confused the crap out of me. Me too. Hee <laughs> hee. You kidding me? Shit. Was it this e Was it always this easy? I'm so in there. Dude, you just introduced herself. What's wrong with you? You're not, like, in her pants already. Leave <laughs> the big <laughs> Yes. Start nibbling her ear while you're at it. Start parting her hair for her. God damn. That's what her major is. What's your major? Journalism. What about you? I'm undecided. I haven't really figured out what I'm interested in yet. Politics. That's okay. <laughs> You still have a lot of time. Yeah, this isn't going to work, guys. I'm so sorry. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few more students walk into the room. Leah glances towards him. Sorry, I'll be right back. I have to go check on something. I'm pro I'm going to stop, because that's probably really fucking annoying to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Leah leaves the room and comes back a minute later. As the lecture starts, the hour passes, and you can hardly contain your excitement. Yes! Oh, God, this guy's really excited. Class is almost over. Time to continue our conversation from before. Maybe I can ask her if she wants to have lunch with me. You sly dog. However, just as class ends, Leah immediately rushes out of the classroom before you get a chance to say anything. Huh. Guess she's in a hurry or something. She's got to go check on Bill Clinton. 
you tough it out through the rest of your college, through the rest of your cl classes like a champ. Yeah, college ain't so bad. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, what are you now? We can go home and study. Go look for a club on campus to join. Well, when I did do the whole flexing thing, it did want me to go to the gym. So let's do that. Nice bathtub. You go to the gym for the first time in ages and work on the usual routine of squats, bench presses, and deadlifts. After your workout, you head home and take a nice hot bath. Keep it up. That confidence will be sky high before you know it. Nice lotion on the floor, too. Earn two strength. Ooh. We're up to what? Four now? The day draws to a close and you earn some well-deserved rest. Good job today. All it took was a bit of determination and courage, but you've met two pretty girls. Hopefully you don't scoot up like you usually do. Nice confidence. Sausage and waffles, man. Come on, avocado toast. Avocados are good in guacamole, but uh, not on toast. A hearty breakfast. They are, they are strong because we need it, you know. Earn another strength. Dude, we're going to be like muscle-bound meathead by the end of this, which is actually completely the opposite of me in real life. <laughs> Um, and John Carey. John Carey's not jacked at all. You get to class early, hoping a chance to talk to Leela again. Leah. Yeah, she's here. Ah, will I be able to talk to her every day for the whole quarter? Hey, Leah, how's it going? Hi, John Carey. I lied about stopping. I'm going to try and keep doing it. How do you like it, John Carey? How do you like your classes so far? They're okay. Shit, what am I supposed to do after all this small talk? Oh, the small talk face. Might as well keep it going. So where are you from? The outskirts of town. I'm living with my sister now in an apartment near the campus. Oh, are you close with her? Pretty close. I'd rather live with her rather than... Wait, what? I'd rather live with her rather than having a stranger as a roommate. That's a really weird sentence. Do you have any siblings? I have a baby. Are you kidding me? I hope she won't miss me too much. She used to make me play dolls with her all day, and now she makes me do the voices. Oh, I have a baby sister. I think I have a babysitter. Hee hee, oh, that's so sweet. Do one of the voices for me. Oh, dear God. Eh, come on. Fine, let's do this. Miss Tibbles, are you ready for tea? We're having biscuits today. What? what? Oh, dear God. Damn it. Ah, that's so good. I can see why she loves you so much. I'm sure most brothers wouldn't do that for their little sisters. I guess not, apparently. <laughs> Leah glances towards the door as more students come in, and her facial expression looks petrified. So sorry, I'm going to move to a desk closer to the front. I can't see too well. Oh, that's tragic. She gets up quickly and moves seats. What the heck? That's twice that's happened. Does she not want to be seen talking to me or what? Whatever. This time I'll chase her after class no matter what she does and ask details. No matter what. Leah runs off as class and Leah run, runs off as class and it's just as you predicted. You follow her and catch her in the staircase. Leah, wait up. John Carey. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> this might seem a little strange thing. This might be, be a strange thing to ask, but is something bothering you? Question mark. I can't. How do you articulate a question mark? I mean, you can. You seem to be avoiding me when there are people in class. I was wondering what's going on. Am I embarrassing you or something? No, no, not at all. I like talking to you. It's just... I have a class now. <laughs> I have a class now. Can we talk about it over lunch? <laughs> the both of you exchange phone numbers and she runs off. Wow, this is the first time I've gotten a girl's number. Is my luck finally taking a turn for this for the better? I don't even own a phone in real life. I guess that's a crucial part of the, the dating step. You entered in your cell phone. It's running to mom. What? L comes before M. Why would it be on your mom? Unless it, it's a phone that just enters it, not alphabetically. You have some time to kill before lunch with Leah, so you go to the library to photocopy the pages of the textbook your math class uses. Pro tip life hack right there. Buying the textbooks for all these classes is highway robbery. Might as well try and save some money. Yeah, college is expensive as balls, man. Hey, it's the girl from yesterday. Let's talk to her. Hey, did you find your classes okay yesterday? Oh, hi, I did. Thanks to you, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, you're welcome. Swag. Cool, I didn't get a chance to introduce myself back there. I'm John Carey. God damn it, John Carey. Nice to meet you, John Carey. You can call me Ellie. So what are you doing here? What's your major? Um, What's your major seems like kind of an awkward thing to ask out of nowhere. So let's go with, so what are you doing here? Just reading over the textbook for my biology class. I actually have not taken biology, and um, I think it's it's a lot of people that have taken it told me it's hard. Don't tell me there's already a test or something like that. No, no. I just want to get a head start. 
It's kind of a habit of mine ever since elementary. Ele eh, elementary school. Elementary? She's British. Whoa, what a dedicated student. You must have gotten straight A's all your life. Hehe, <clears throat> <laughs> well, I'd be pretty sad if I studied that much and didn't get good grades. I have to especially focus now since I'm going pre-med. Pre-med, yeah. Doctors make a lot of money. Sounds tough. I'll manage somehow. What about you? What? Oh, what about you? I haven't seen much people in here. What are you doing? I was just going to say John Kerry or your ass, or unless John Kerry's senile already. Oh, just need to copy the homework question for my class. I don't have to buy the textbook. GG. Life hack. Ooh, nice move. I spent a ton buying all the textbooks for my classes. Eh, I'm... They cost way too much. What a ripoff. I'm really sorry if this voice is annoying you guys. I apologize. I know, right? John, you're a politician. You don't know what the meaning of money is. By the way... Oh, God, John Kerry just went through puberty. <laughs> By the way, do you know what's some fun stuff to do around here? I'm trying to try out new things lately. Oh, no. Loser. Ellipses. I can't think of anything right now. Ellipses. Sorry. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to go find my book now. It's nice chatting with you. Maybe we can do it more sometime. Sure, I'd love to. See you later. Do these people just wear the same clothes all the time? You finish your business in the library and head outside. Is there no on-campus thing? Leah gives you a call and tells her she can't make lunch. She apologizes and proposes a meeting for breakfast tomorrow and said, Yeah, sure, why not? What the? Is this girl playing me for a fool or something? I almost wanted to sing the strokes, but I will not sing. I've already tortured you guys enough with the lady voice. You see an old friend from years back standing around in the parking lot. Let's go talk to him. You go up to the dude and he actually remembers you. The both of you catch up for a bit and he asks if you want to join him and his friends for lunch. Hell yeah. You guys go to a burger joint. It's been a while since you've hung out with a bunch of people. This is good for you. Time to get back a bit of the social skills you lost during high school. Man, high school is the breeding ground for social skills. Earn two charismas. That's like $200 for a fry and burger. Wow. Damn. <laughs> there better be some, like, concert tickets in that burger or something. Jesus. Freaking Barack Obama better jump out of that hamburger and... Give me a frickin' handshake and tell me I'm a good American citizen. The day draws to a close. So far, so good. Hopefully I can straighten things out with Leah during breakfast tomorrow. Maybe afterward I'll drop by the library and see if Ellie is there. You wake up and head to a local diner to meet up with Leah. Hope she shows up, ellipses. Ah, there she is. John Kerry, good morning. <laughs> good morning, American citizen. I don't even know if they're American. I haven't been here before, have you? Nope, GG. Um, any anyway, thanks for meeting me. I know I've been acting weird around you in, cl in class, so let me explain. How do you take two question marks? He's really confused. Uh, there is no way in hell I'm reading that in a female voice. I used to be close friends with this girl, Kim. She's in our writing class. Well, in high school, the boy she liked kept flirting with me. And I guess she got jealous. Her whole attitude... I don't know why she's Southern. Her whole attitude changed. She started getting real nasty and would spread rumors about me being some sort of loose girl, you know? Even though I've never had a boyfriend. Hey, my last year of high school were so lonely, especially since most of my other friends started alienating me. She was popular back then, so everyone sided with her. I was looking forward to college so much. I thought I could start anew and leave those bad memories behind, but Kim Kardashian, potentially, she's attending this university as well. I really enjoyed talking to you and hope we could be friends, but I saw her walk in the room and panicked. I was afraid she would get to you, too. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go with the charismatic politician. I'll be your friend no matter what anyone says. I didn't have many friends in high school, so of course I was happy to have met someone so nice and pretty. Just count on me. I won't let the girl bother you anymore. Thank you, John Kerry. <laughs> Thank you, John Kerry, random politician in my high school. In college, actually. I hope you can become good friends from now on. The two of you chat and eat lunch. Leah needs to get to her next class, so you decide to go to the library to see if Ellie is there. This video is going to be super long, by the way. Um, Maybe a good, like, you know... I don't even know. You guys just uh, get a super long video today. Let's go check her usual spot. Boo! Uh, <laughs> what the <laughs> What? Like, that'd be my reaction. Just, ah! Dear God, woman! <laughs> ah, got you! Damn straight, man. I fought in Vietnam. I could've sleeper-held your neck or something. Jesus. What the? 
Chief cheese, am I that predictable? Do you know where to find me, find me so easily? Uh, she's salty. Basically. Hehe, <laughs> I'm glad you came though. I was getting a bit bored. Of course, I stop by every other hour just to see if that's really creepy. Isn't that a given? It is a library after all. Smart now. I'm pretty sure she wants to punch my nut, my the neck in. I can't talk. This is just too much reading. Hey, it's the truth. John Kerry does not approve books. How often are you here, anyway? I spend almost all my free time here, pretty much. Yeah, the library's pretty fun. That's not a good thing. Damn, John Kerry is really opposed to books. Like I said, I have to focus on my studies. I'm starting to think that's just an excuse. Excuse me. But I've been like this since high school. My parents have always pressured me to study, study, study. It's become my lifestyle. We're in college now. I was like you too in high school. Always staying home, not going out with friends, or doing anything worthwhile. But now I'm making an effort to go out and try everything and actually experience life. Don't you want to do the same? I'm not sure if I can, or how to start. Let's try it together. Tell you what, the fair is still in town for a couple of days. Let's go there tomorrow after all our classes. Does that sound good? Um... Get all your studying done, so we can have fun tomorrow. Okay, uh, I'll go. Cha-ching! Nice. I have to go now, but I'll see you there. See you later. <laughs> Just nice. Like, <laughs> holy tits. <laughs> did a girl just agree to go out with me? Is this a date? Oh, you're stuck in that awkward, are we dating, question mark thing. Well, this day passed quickly. I made so much progress today. I can't wait till tomorrow as if, you know, it's like a... No classes with Leah today. Instead, I have to sit through my chemistry lab. Man, who gives a shit about chemistry anyway? Whoops, Ellie probably does. Ha <laughs> ha. At least in my only class that I came she was actually really fun, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty fun class. <laughs> Felt like that class was never gonna end. Time to go meet up with Ellie so we can head off to the fair. You hear voices coming from the women's bathroom. Up to your old tricks again, huh? That's a girl. <laughs> Up to your old tricks again, huh? You floozy, I knew it. It's not like that. I... Oh, God. I'm just butchering female voices. What, bitch? Wait a minute, I recognize that voice. It's Leah. I really hope it's not the one doing the bullying. Oh, goddamn. I have a date with Ellie, but I have to rescue Leah. Um. <sighs> Moral conundrums. Well, you see, I do have a date with Leah at the fair. It's none of my business. Better go pick up Ellie before she gets mad or save Leah. See, my, as a person, I would save Leah. Um, you know what that's we're going to do? We're going to save Leah. Do the good thing. You barge into the bathroom. I mean, I guess we might have to blow off Ellie, which would really suck. But, um, you know, like I, I like to help people, so we'll save her. Kim Kardashian, what the heck are you doing in here? Are we arguing with the stalls? What's going on? I don't know you, but quit harassing her. Stop being an immature, vindictive bitch and leave her alone. It's obvious you're mad you'll never be as beautiful or kind-hearted as Leah. I'm sure everyone else notices that as well. Who do you think you are, punk? I'm calling security. Typical pop star. Let's go, Leah. You take Leah out there, out of there, and the both of you run off campus to a nearby park. I'm sorry I got you involved like this, John Kerry. Man, I fought Nam. I got this. I wanted to fend her off myself back there, but all those bad memories just came back, and I... She has no business treating you like that. Next time, I'll know I'll be able to do it. Don't remember what I said? I'll be there for you, taking the political route. John Kerry, thank you. I, I feel so much more at ease there now, since I'm with you. Are we dating her now? Booyah. The two of you talk until sunset and decide to head back before it gets dark. Suddenly, some dude appears in front of you. It's Alan, Kim's latest boy toy. Alan. Alan, I don't know. Well, well, here's the punk. Who are you? Hey, big man, I heard what you did to my girl in the bathroom. I'm gonna make you regret that. That I told her off? Okay. I didn't do anything. Fuck off, dickhead. <laughs> this will probably get us into a fight. Let's do it. Who is that tough guy? Let's see if you have to say what after I'm done with you. Looks like this dude won't go without a fight. Let's do it. Come at me, bro. As if John Kerry would just be like, let's go! You try to dodge his punch, but are unable to. Oh, damn. That doesn't matter, though, because you take it like a champ and counter with your own swing. He goes down! The dude had a glass jaw? I fought a nom. Who would have thought? You make a run for it to catch up to Leah down the street. She's visibly shaken by the ordeal, so you take her home. 
Thank you for taking me home, John Carey. Would you like to come in? Yeah, sure, why not? No one has ever stood up for me like that before. You're the nicest guy I've ever met, John Carey. I love the time we spend together, and even though I haven't known you very long, I feel I can trust and depend on you really when I'm around you. I feel my heart beating like crazy. John Carey, w will you be my side from now on? No thanks. <laughs> As if I would just go through all this trouble and then just be like, rejected! <laughs> Forever! Oh, dear God. Congratulations. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you won Leah's heart. With your help, Leah becomes a stronger, more confident person and learns to stand up for herself against Kim. You settle the score with Alan, who eventually wises up to Kim's true nature. You and Leah live happily ever after. Most importantly, you don't become a wizard! The end. So... 25 minutes or 26 minutes of um, courtship but like I said um, this was just a fun game to play um, I just saw it and thought it would be cool um, happy Valentine's Day to all you with significant others um, I hope you enjoy the day you know make sure y'all know that you are loved and if you're single like me looking for a girl like me or if you're looking for a guy, um, just remember there's 364 more days till the next Valentine's Day, so keep your chin up. Uh, <clears throat> that was a fun game. Uh, I'll, you know, after this I'll probably resume the normal schedule of L.A. Noir and all that other great stuff. So um, have a good Valentine's Day and take it easy, guys. I'll see you next time.